Hey there, this is Artem from Germany featuring Marvel Puzzle Quest and it's my first time recording so I have some advice for beginners when you have first time launched the game and acquired a number of characters my advice to you is to Get as many two-star characters and three-star char characters as possible and try to max them out. Don't go for the big fish like the four stars or the five stars because in the beginning it will be hard to grind hero points. You may get a lot from the campaign, from the missions, but it will be hard for you playing the story events and the, the PV, uh, pvp events so my advice to you questers who have started the game recently is try to acquire the most two star characters and three star characters you, you can as many three star and two star characters as you can and try to max them out because you will soon enough when you have maximized a lot of them you will get four stars and five stars in the beginning they're just pretty useless to you i have done i have done the same and uh, you can check out my roster right now go to two stars uh, currently i have most of them i just need more hero points to acquire some space for the remaining four and what about my three stars i'm still missing quite a few yeah still missing a good amount sorry good amount of them but all most of my three stars are championed and i'm trying to max them and most of my fights are involving the three stars it's most of the time in in the events when you have uh, the four star a certain four star character is upgraded by the ISO, but generally I quest with three stars and sometimes with two stars, and the the advantage of having a lot of two stars is when you're doing the De Deadpool daily quest. This one, wait a second. Where is it? There it is. When you're doing the Deadpool daily quest and you're trying to farm command points, this is the mission. The Behemoth Burrito mission. You will need a 2 star, a 3 star and a 4 star. So, I know right now if you're a new beginner you're short on 4 stars but... The two stars will always come in handy for Deadpool dailies in general when you're doing... You at least need one one star. I recommend you to either get Iron Man or Juggernaut because they are the most powerful one stars and they can clear the first mission of the Taku Deadly Pool's mission, daily missions easily. And for the second and the third mission you need two stars. You cannot do those without two stars. So if you if you want at least one of the tacos, you need three two stars. That's my advice for you. And the two stars will also, when they're championed and you get more covers for them, they will provide you with ISO, hero points, tokens, three star versions of themselves. So the the chances are quite high to get three star characters which in return which uh, in return will result into being able to use this one mission with a character i mean it's german right now i know in german language but <laughs> i'm trying my best to explain it in english yeah so the advice was for generally for two stars or three stars about myself i've been playing Marvel Puzzle Quest since October 2014 and regularly since 
March 2015. So I had a, I had a break, one big break between October 2014 and March 2015. But after that, I tried to constantly play the game. And I'm really amazed and happy about the changes that, that have come along, the new characters that have been introduced. By the way, right now, coming right now, it is Star Lord 3 and 5 star version. And in a, in a couple of days, it will be the introduction of Baby Groot and Rocket for Star version. So I'm looking forward to that. And I guess. Gamora will also get a four-star version. Yeah. So if you have any questions, I will upload this video on YouTube. If you have any questions, please put something into the comment section. Ask me anything you want about Marvel Puzzle Quest. That's all. I wish you a good day. Peace out.